So we're out here testing the S1 again. Here with my friend Matt. Found a little hot spot here, about 230 counts per minute. We're digging. Can you dig more a little bit right here? So 200, sample that, 191, something's in here dude. Looks like we found some ore deposit here and it's just, it's this yellow shit. I don't know if it's uranium or not. I don't know man. Getting about 400 counts per minute, 350 up to 390 variable, it's pretty good. So take two. This is the, just an overview of the area. So up here, we found some crazy shell rock, similar to that, very dark color like uranium is supposed to be, and it was counting, oh, well over 500. But my damn button thingy kind of broke, so I'm out of commission. All right, so part two of, uh, Testing the uh, S1 from bettergeiger.com. Out here, hiking northwest Nevada, and just we're checking some rings on some of this bedrock here. And it's so ah, I forgot to mention the background's like 60 counts per minute. Getting some readings on this big slab here, this bedrock. Anywhere from 80 to like 150 counts per minute. So, you know, Nevada is just kind of. It's just kind of radioactive, man, you know? It's a radioactive state. There's 70. Don't mind the dogs. Well, tested some of this rock over there and it was getting 80, 90 counts per minute, so nothing crazy, but you know, it's still uh There we go. There's a good hit right there. 90 counts per minute. 78. Yeah. This unit works really good. I've just been informed that the sensor is here. However, you don't have to hold it like that if you want to get a reading. It's so sensitive. Oh, shit. Actually, there you go. There's that, th that thing just spiked like crazy, dude. 85, 86. See if it goes up. Nope, 77. Yeah. Oh, well. 